Hello and welcome to Modern Odyssey on Bronx, Net and Beyond. I'm Dr. Despina Fentuli. Today we have a very special guest from Rhode Island, State Senator Lou Reptakis. Hello, Lou. My pleasure to be here today, this afternoon at Capitol Lincoln, to be here to share with you our work in the uh, State Senate that affects Greece and the United States. So since we are here on Capitol Link, would you like to share a few thoughts about today's uh, session? Well, I think it's very important bringing companies from Greece, companies from the United States, government officials together to share uh, different ideas how to promote both countries' economy, number one, the geopolitical issues, and also bonding and building bridges between the people of the United States and the people of Greece to benefit everyone. And Lou, you have served on various positions and also you have chaired in the state the Senate of Rhode Island. Would you like to share with us what you've done, your work, and what your achievements are so far? Sure. I've been elected for 28 years, and most important, serving on the Judiciary Committee, which is one of my key roles, uh, third-ranking member. And, and there's a lot of issues. There's a lot of issues combating drunk drivers, uh, keeping criminals in jail, which I think is very important. A lot of the gun laws that passed during, uh, during our session in our committee, and, and many other various issues that are important to law and order. And my other minor committee is Special Legislation Veterans Affairs, protecting all the veterans that have served our uh, great nation. So key issue, promoting a lot of legislation to protect those veterans when they are discharged from service, whether it's housing, education, anything that we can do to support our men and women that served our country proudly. And apart from that, I would have to say that you continue to support your Greek heritage by introducing every year the um, Remembrance Day of the Ponian Greeks and the um, Greek independence. So please tell us more about why you think it's important for people to know more about these two historical events and what your goals are. Number one, the Greek Independence Day. We've been passing and voting on that resolution both in the Senate and my colleagues in the House for the last 20, uh, 29 years, maybe even longer. Very important is to show, to tell our constituents, our non-Greek constituents in the state of Rhode Island how important Greece is, how democracy is. And a lot of uh, Rhode Islanders are very proud to know the history of Greece, how Greece fought its revolution against the Ottoman Empire, similar to what the United States did. And we had a lot of Philhellenes that left the United States to go fight in the Greek Revolution. And those are issues that are important to us 200 somewhat years, 203 years later. So it bonds both uh, people together, and which is very important. It shows the uh, camaraderie that we have between both countries, uh, the history, which is the revolution of the United States probably inspired the Greeks to revolt. And I think the, the hosts in the United States that decided to revolt, revolt against uh, the king saw the value of democracy. The other important resolution, the Pontian Genocide Resolution, The Senate has, for the last 17 years, voted and recognized the Pontian Genocide Resolution, uh, which shows what happened to the Greek Pontian, the, the Greeks, during that whole uh, issue between 1921 and 22, but also showed what the Ottoman Empire did to also the Armenians. We've got language in that resolution that also recognizes the fate of the 1.5 million Armenians. The message is no more genocide. We have to recognize what took place over 100 years ago to show the world that genocide is unacceptable today and the suffering of what uh, the Greek people and the Armenian people suffered under the uh, genocide of the uh, Ottoman Empire. And we're waiting, hopefully, that Turkey, modern-day Turkey, recognizes what took place 100 years ago. It was the genocide of the Christian also, exactly. the Assyrian. Exactly, exactly. And that's very important to recognize that fact also. And you are also the president of the World, World Hellenic World Interparliamentary Association. 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 That's a very <laughs> difficult <laughs> term, but it is a group of uh, 90 legislators worldwide. There's 43 here in the United States, five members of Congress, three lieutenant governors, a secretary of state, 12 state senators, and about 19 state reps elected in 18 states throughout our great nation. Bonding these individuals together, plus our colleagues from Australia, another 20 from Australia, 
uh, eight from Canada and many, many nations throughout the world, bringing elected Hellenes together. Very important. We meet every two years in Athens. But here in the United States, great uh, group of individuals that we educate our colleagues in government, our non-Greeks, how important Greece is regarding all issues, geopolitical issues, education, bonding Greece and Cyprus together with the United States. We've done a lot, blocking the F-35s, taking Turkey out of that F-35 program, hopefully to block Turkey from the F-16 program, making sure that our U.S. senators, our members of Congress in the 18 states were elected, know the issues, the East, how important the East Med is, how important Greece is to the United States, to United States interests. So that's our, our most of our work. But again, at the same time, uh, building uh, bridges between both countries. We're working on education right now, preserving the Greek uh, language. Uh, American companies investing in Greece, Greek companies investing back in the United States, the geopolitical issues. So there's a lot of work that we do uh, on, a, on a weekly basis, monthly, weekly, daily. We're in contact with each other. Today's email makes it a lot easier. So uh, we want to make sure that we're updated on all the issues of concern between both nations and including Cyprus. And what are your priorities at this point as a president? Well, our priorities is to educate our colleagues. We, we have a board meeting coming up in uh, Greece in January, our nine-member board. We're going to be visiting Yanina, Igumenitsa, the technical uh, technology park of the University of Yanina. I think it's very, uh, very important to go to different regions of Greece. We've been to Alexandrupoli, we've been to Thessaloniki, and we're also going to uh, visit Su uh, Crete. We're going to visit all the NATO facilities, American facilities to show how important Greece is right now, uh, especially this uh, important uh, arena of the Eastern Mediterranean, how dangerous the Eastern Mediterranean is today, but Greece being one of the leading partners of the United States. And uh, to mention that you also visit places that are not so popular in a way, let's say Castellorizo. Uh, well, Castellorizo was very important. We visited in 21-22. We had the Law of the Sea. We emphasize Greece's borders. doesn't matter how far Castellorizo is from mainland Greece and from Rhodes. We emphasize that every inch of Greek territory is sovereign Greek territory and that Turkey should respect uh, the sovereign territory of Greece. And what is your message to our Hellenic U.S. international audience? Well, very important. It, our message is to bond both peoples of, of the countries, of both the United States and Greece, and to show that uh, we work on a daily basis to bond together uh, both peoples and every aspect of uh, what both nations share, whether it's our freedoms, our democracy, our business world, as we saw today here at Capital Link, but all the other issues too, which are very important. Like I said earlier, education is most important, tourism, and also the geopolitical uh, d uh, politics of today, and working, having the United States work together as a NATO member, as a partner uh, for stability in the Eastern Mediterranean, a most dangerous uh, uh, area right now as we, we see today. Thank you so much, Lou. Ευχαριστώ πάρα πολύ. Ευχαριστώ πολύ. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching Wonder Odyssey on BronxNet and beyond. I'm Dr. Desmina Fendouli. Until next time, γεια σας.